back from the grocery store and I sound very allergies and I look like I've been stung by a bee, but I haven't. Um, I came back from the grocery store, I put all the groceries up, recycled all of the boxes and things like that, and then I got to cleaning. My kitchen was disgusting yet again. I mean, I just did a spring cleaning, but kitchens are where people are at the most, and so I had to clean the countertops, clean the stove, I vacuumed and I mopped, and then I mopped the entryway, so I'll show you guys how great it looks. I love, like, the finished... <sighs> product after you mop because your floors like look so good it's kind of like it's honestly hard to tell on camera but trust me when i say that it looks good so then i needed to uh mow the backyard which is why i look like this so i mowed the backyard and i need to go to lowe's and get some uh, lawn bags while i was at walmart i tried to find them but i couldn't and what's odd is i saw a guy leaving Walmart as I was coming in with lawn bags and I just I'm sure if I put some effort into it or if I asked somebody I would have found them but it's fine so I'll, I'll need to go to Lowe's to get some lawn bags and continue lawn stuff hopefully tomorrow but it's supposed to rain so I need to go ahead and put like fertilizer not fertilizer but um I need to seed the lawn with uh this like lawn food slash kills weeds and stuff like that so I need to like put that all over the lawn because usually you want to do that before it rains. Loxie wants to go outside. However, you guys, this house is surrounded by hornets, nests, and wasps, and it's like intense. You going outside, boo-boo? Go outside? The problem is I can't leave this door open, so, and she wants it open. She wants me to either go with her or leave it open, and I just can't do that. Um, okay, so anyway, I'll show you some of the interesting things that I got while I was at Walmart. I got typical, you know, kind of grocery stuff, but I got some interesting stuff I'd share with, I thought I'd share with you. So I got some nail polish remover just because I ran out. And yes, I usually do my own toes and nails. Um, although honestly, like as soon as my daughter goes off to college and I might not have as many expenses as I do now for her. Who am I kidding? It's she'll probably be even more expensive. I was thinking I could like start treating myself to things like getting my nails done, my hair done. Those are just things that I don't really care about. And it, I know I save a lot by doing this stuff myself. Anyway, I got this Dr. Teal's body lotion, uh, pink Himalayan. So I just feel like my skin is just turning too dry, too alligatory, and I'm just I'm at that age where I want to preserve my skin and make sure that I'm getting as much as I can out of my skin before it gets to a point where I'm just going to have to start aging as gracefully as I can, you know? But if I can try to help it, I'm that's what I'm doing. I also got this hand mask. Now, I actually did my own DIY like hand repair, which I love, and I need to do that again with a salt. So I'm going to do that first, and then I'm going to do this mask and it can it contains one pair of individually packaged single use masks so i guess after you use it that's it you got to throw it away it's pro organic um rejuvenating smoothing conditioning so i got this at walmart it looks really interesting also at walmart why do i keep saying that you guys know that's where i can get got all this stuff i found this donkey milk sleeping mask and you like you put it on while you sleep and this is a nutrient that is dubbed white gold or known commonly as donkey milk soothes and restores skin health and vitally while sleeping i don't know why it took me so long to read that but so i thought that was interesting um i don't know how many you get in here just one mask it was 250 it was kind of expensive and the last thing is this replenishing cucumber mist there was actually two kinds. There was this cucumber and there was like a rose water, but I wanted this one because it said, um, cucumber infused mist invigorates, hydrates, and refreshes to revive the look of dull, tired complexions. And I just feel like I'm dull and tired. So I got that. And I don't know why I'm trekking all the way 
into my guest bathroom to show you this. But I also got a new toilet seat cover. Because this toilet seat that came with the house is disgusting. Like, I don't even know that I want to show this to you, but like, look at this. There's like marks all over it. It's just like you can't clean it. I've tried and tried, but it's just, ugh. Okay, so I don't know why it's taken me a year because this, this one only costs five bucks. Five whole dollars. If you move into a house, you guys, and you can't confirm if they've chained out toilet seats and locks, get that done. Those are the two things I think should always be done in a house, whether you're renting, buying, apartment, it doesn't matter. Like, get some new toilet seat covers, you know? Anyway, I haven't even started editing my video for this bathroom makeover, but I'm loving it. You guys, this candle is so good that I can smell it when I walk through the front door of my house. And it is the Mandarin and Mint. Yeah, so Mandarin and Mint. I got this at TJ Maxx and it is the best candle I have ever found in my entire existence. While it is really fun to shop at Bath & Body Works because it's so girly and, and it is fun, I still have to say, if for whatever reason you can't get to a Bath & Body Works or you feel like you can't afford it, because trust me, it's like you can't go into Bath & Body Works and get one thing. You always end up leaving with at least three to six things and it's always like $40, even with their sales. I don't know how that is, but that's how it always is. So if you can't do that, just go to TJ Maxx and Walmart. Their candles are really amazing. The packaging isn't as cute as what Bath & Body Works puts out, but what would you rather pay for, packaging or the scent? So there's that. Anyway, now I not gonna shower yet because I think I might still find some strength to go jogging. It's just a really nice day. So I'm gonna give myself about two hours and then see if I want to jog. If I don't, then I'm gonna shower. And the rest of the night, I'm gonna sit here with my iPad. And that's about it. Hi guys, I just went jogging. Um, so I've got the shower running, so I'm gonna make this clip a little bit quick. But I just put up a vlog and I just want to say like how I'm loving doing vlogs for you guys lately. I know that I stepped away from my vlogs for a bit um, just because I felt really, really vulnerable. Um, just like sharing kind of almost everything that I do. I mean, I would say about 70% 70, 70 of what I do. I don't know why I was just like yelling at you. Sorry. Um, but I just went jogging. I've got the shower going on, so I'm gonna take a quick shower. And I read one of the comments where she said, I was worried you weren't gonna put up a vlog this weekend. It was just one of those weekends where I, I had to like catch up on sleep and do nothing. Um, Friday night, I babysat my niece, which was so fun. And um, so, but girl, I haven't been around a baby in a long time. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna take a quick shower. I'm gonna have a lot to vlog hopefully this week. I've got a lot going on. I want to make a goal to like, just like not personal hygiene if you will, cause I obviously shower every day. This clip just went south. But I wanna make it a goal to like, do my makeup really, really cute and pretty and put an effort into it and like look cute, look professional, not cute. Cute's not the right word for my age anymore. I wanna look professional um, and I always do though. Like I never go to work looking like I rolled out of bed to be honest, like I, I'm always put together but I wanna put more thought into it I guess and look at Loxie. You know she's always here in case you're ever wondering but and then Girl, let me take a quick shower and we'll continue this talk. Hang on. Okay, I got out of the 
of the shower. Um, I'm going to blow dry my hair really quick. That way all I have to do in the morning when I wake up and go to work is just kind of style it. But I ordered some pizza so that's on its way. So that's why I'm going to do this really quick. And we're going to go from wet hair to dry hair. <laughs> Do not blow dry your hair with a hoodie on, okay? Dude, look at my hair. I look, I look like a six year old boy <laughs> with my hair parted like this, but I don't care. Pizza's on its way. I ordered cheese pizza. Uh, I'll Fettuccine Alfredo and a tiramisu because girl, I need it. So right after my um, laparoscopic appendec appendectomy, I should just say after my appendicitis issue, I made a do not eat list because I've just always, always struggled with my stomach. Like as far back as like my first memory was when I was like six years old. So I'm at a point where I'm like, okay, I mean, at some point, when I get older in my 50s, like, my body's not going to be able to handle this kind of, like, pain all the time. So, I'm trying to get more responsible and putting things on my do-not-eat list. And there's a couple things. The first one being Chick-fil-A. Um, for whatever reason, my I get so much trapped, bloated gas from Chick-fil-A. I know that's TMI, but I just do. I hate that because their chicken is so good. Like, I can't even touch the fries. You can forget about their fries. But that's even worse. But the chicken just messes me up so bad. And so, and I've stuck to it. I have not had Chick-fil-A since I put it on my do not eat list. Now, I am Italian. And feel free to stereotype me for being Italian because I feel like it's true. But I love me some pasta and bread. So also on my do not eat list is pasta. Really, really bothers me. And um, so, but... <laughs> Sometimes I have to have my fettuccine alfredo and I splurge every now and then this is one of those times I can have cheese pizza, but It's how much cheese that I eat that also bothers me so I can have about two slices max I can't have any more than that or else ugh. So it's one of those nice nights where I'm definitely indulging But I don't mind as you can see from behind me it's getting dark. I don't even know what time it is. It's like almost eight actually. Yeah, I think it's almost eight o'clock. So that's pretty much it. I'm still editing another vlog, just getting them prepped. And I'm gonna try to find something on TV and I'll show you guys my dinner when it arrives. Okay. Happy Alfredo. I didn't get it with chicken, but it's fine. And then here, is my favorite thing ever, the tiramisu. You guys, I'm gonna put this in the fridge. Go ahead and grab a ginger ale. Mm. Oh my god. Watching Sister Wives. So there's Mary, Janelle, Christine, and Robin. I'm just, I really like Mary. And honestly, again, no judgment to their lives. But watching what's going down, I hope, I hope she divorces Cody and leaves that whole situation. I, re I really do. Like, if she does, I'm going to be like, girl. Do you, boo. Do you. <coughs> oh, it's about to get real. Janelle and Mary are going to have a talk. I'm just going to be completely honest with you. This is not Maddie's opinion. This is just my opinion. Going 
going into the labor when we were in there. Robin did ask a couple of times if we should get you things like that. And I'm not going to say anything because it's not my labor. But I wouldn't have had you come in. My thing is... Damn. You bring a lot with you when you come in the room. And you bring a lot of baggage when you come in the room. <gasps> and I don't know what to do with it. Oh. You come in with bristles a lot. Damn. And... I don't know if anybody mm. else was thinking that. I don't think so. We didn't think it happened naturally. I just want to be completely honest with you with where I was. I'm kind of shocked. Me too, girl. That she is using this bed to have a safe conversation with me. I don't feel like this is doing it. I want to be completely honest with you where I was and asked her. I'm sorry, but I've never liked Janelle. I just, not always she's always been the one that's like very clearly the most jealous. I just, I don't trust her to be honest. Really, truly, I don't, I don't trust her. And just because she's carrying on with her little soft tone, I don't even know. I feel like when Mary got into that catfish situation, and if you've never watched the show, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But when Mary got into that catfish situation, I bet Janelle was just loving it. I really do. I feel like she's... I don't know. I'm not casting judgment because I don't know her. And I only see what they allow me to see through editing, but... Come on, Mary. Just leave. Just leave this whole thing. Oh my god. I honestly... I'm honestly in shock. Yeah, I just, religions obviously can be a really touchy subject. My personal belief is one man, one woman. But um, for me, that's my belief for me. And uh, I just don't understand how healthy it could be to share a husband. I really don't. Um, I think it sounds, I, I, I don't know, I just, I don't know, but just because I don't understand it doesn't mean it makes it wrong, you know what I mean, like, I don't get to determine, like, what's normal. Oh, girl, no. Alright, so, I already ate my dinner, I had my entire tiramisu. Zero guilt in that. And it's like done. Well, this little town is She's not really into sister life. wives. Oh, it is. It's not like Whenever really her I jam. Into this town, it's really weird. It just feels like, yeah, this could be my home. Having this home here, I mean, it, it'll, I know it'll just feel like another home. To be I kind of hope she divorces about. Cody and just moves into and this house. I don't see anything that I'm And I feel to. like. The situation okay, she's in is so unhealthy I guess, for her. If you'd like me to, I can put my little John Henry right on here. Are we signing? I guess we are signing, Vicky. But Mary has always been my favorite <laughs> of all the wives. This is definitely not. All right, now we're moving on to Three Wives, One Husband. That show is, is it gonna just tear us apart? really interesting. The difference between Three Wives, One Husband versus Sister Wives is that sister wives, I guess they, they live a more uh, civilized, I don't even know if that's like the right word to use, but they, they live out in society and um, suburban life, you know, whereas three wives, one husband, they like live in the desert away from everybody. And they have like this own, their own little colony, um, like a reservation kind of, if you will. Now, this is just me talking. This is not judgment. Judgment is, I feel like, when you put out harsh negativity and you tell someone that what they're doing is wrong. And, like, I think that's judgment. But I, what confuses me the most about polygamy, um, at least from, like, the shows I've seen, and this may not be the case in all polygamy families but 
why is there jealousy? Like, that's the one thing I don't understand. Like, you know what you're in. You know what you're doing. You've literally consented to the fact that you're going to share your husband. Why is there jealousy? I feel like it's a double standard, and I don't understand that part at all. Like, for me, jealousy is the first sign that something in the back of your mind is saying this doesn't make sense. But, I don't know. I'm just saying, personally, why be jealous? Like, you, you literally know what's happening. You hang out with these women. Are you in denial? Are you, like, trying to block out, like... That your husband is literally not with someone else on other nights? I don't get it. The jealousy, I've never understood. I feel like that shouldn't even be a factor. Because you clearly want to be in a polygamy family. So, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm sorry. I want to get it. I want to understand. But, I just don't. Oh my god, you guys, I absolutely love how cuddly she is. Like, look at her. She, if she could, she would, like, look at this baby. If she could, she would, like, attach herself to me 24 7. <laughs> She's just a big old baby. You are the sweetest. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you about to be six years old? Huh? Are you about to be six? It's challenging when you know that you're not the only one.